Coming up, how one tennis tournament is helping children impacted by the war in Ukraine. Plus, a new report details why some nurses are choosing to leave their jobs. Dry tonight, but rain and snow chances return for the end of the weekend. Your forecast is straight ahead. Live from the breaking news and weather authority, this is WEAU 13 News at 6. Good evening and thanks for joining us. As the war in Ukraine continues, here in Eau Claire, a friendly competition is raising money to help children impacted by the conflict. WEAU's Leanne Stapleton shares how a Chippewa Valley tennis community is showing one family with ties to Ukraine its support. The money raised from today's tennis tournament will go to the United Nations Children's Fund, or UNICEF. The goal is for the money to help children who have been displaced, orphaned, or even hurt due to the ongoing war in Ukraine. The Kadat community came together today to help the family of a firefighter who passed away last year. The fire department held a benefit helping Matt Siddons' family. The former firefighter died last December after battling COVID-19. Today's event included food and multiple 50-50 raffles. Siddons' family says they're grateful to see their community rally around them honoring Matt. It's overwhelming. Um, Matt's been a huge part of the community. We both have been a huge part of this community. Um, he was an infectious person, right? He made his way into everybody's hearts and everybody's here for him. Proceeds from today's event will go directly to Sidden's family, helping them cover his medical and other expenses. For the past two years, the pandemic has stressed the health care system, sometimes to its brink. For many nurses, it's been too much. As Kate Reddits shares, a new report is showing why many Minnesota nurses decided to leave. Coming up in Sports Scene 13, girls soccer teams are back in action. Jessica has the highlights. First, find out which Wisconsin sports team is now offering fans a high-tech way to show their team spirit. If you've been to a Bucks game, maybe you've received a rally towel or a bobblehead. This week, the Bucks offered 20,000 fans a collectible digital poster. As Sam Kramer shares, experts say these NFTs are really just the next generation of memorabilia. The Bucks plan to offer NFTs to fans with tickets to the remaining three home games first, then it will offer them on its website after that. The Brewers are also offering packs of NFT trading cards of their players, which will be available on April 12th. Clouds will gradually move out tonight with a mostly sunny start to your Sunday but rain and snow chances are back in the forecast. Meteorologist Derek Dahlman is in next with your Sky Warren 13 forecast. Yeah, by Wednesday. Well, it looks like it's definitely not time to put away the winter boots. Thanks, Derek. Mm -hmm. River shrinking, lakes drying up, and the west coast in the middle of a mega drought. What can we do to address the water crisis in America? Greta, Greta Van Susteren travels the country speaking to experts about our most vital resource. Tonight, a special report called Troubled Water airs right here on WEAU at 9 p.m. Coming up next in Sports Scene 13, Blue Gold Baseball takes on UW Stout for the first time this season. And two Chippewa Valley girls soccer teams get back to the field. Jessica has those highlights coming up next. So the past yesterday and today, you know, getting that really great sunshine, 40 degrees feels really good yeah, right close now. To 50 here in Eau Claire. And we, we love that for sure. But then I guess it's not going to last for tomorrow. We might see some snow potentially. Yeah, well, temperature wise, we'll be back in the upper 40s. But yeah, so as you alluded to, we are going to be looking at some rain and snow moving in for tomorrow afternoon. The well, thanks, Derek. And thank you for joining us. Our next newscast coming up tonight at 10.